What's up everybody? Welcome back to an all new episode of Conflicts. Today we'll be looking at the MBOT Mega. That is right, MakeBlock is back at it again with a brand new MBOT. This here is the MBOT Mega, an MBOT that is based off of a Mega Pi unit. That is right, that means you can go ahead and program up to 10 mortars at once. And it can go ahead and support any kind of Arduino sensors, which itself houses a variety of different sensors based off of its own unit. Now, in this episode here, we'll be unboxing it, building it, and seeing exactly what it can do. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Alright guys, so this here is our box. This here is our MBOT Mega, and overall, a pretty cool looking presentation. Kind of showcases what it's about on the front here. Kind of ro rotated about here, kind of talks about a little more in terms of detail. So you do get four Macadam wheels. You get it powered by an AT Mega 25060, which is compatible with Arduino. You get four DC motors, which include an all and around movement, and then multiple sensors to go ahead and enrich power functions. Now, the MBOT Mega can also integrate well with Raspberry Pi. So you can go ahead and do a lot more fun and advanced applications. All right. Whoa, oh, cool. So we get these different boxes and then we have ourselves a quick start guide. So you can actually see how the robot looks here. It's definitely a great platform to build off of. And it's about 23 pages. Now we also have ourselves a map. So this will be serving purpose of our line following function. That is actually pretty cool. So this here is gonna be our Mega Pie Kit. Wow, look at that. I'm excited to see how this all plays out. Look at this, this thing is actually a really nice quality frame. It says make block on there. And then you have multiple ports on the top here to go ahead and mount different things as well. Uh, everything is very nicely wrapped. All right, we have our wheels, a connection cable here, and then we get ourselves a nice looking screwdriver as well as our little wrench, a variety of different pieces here for nuts, bolts, and brackets, and then sandpaper of different cables, DC motors, a battery pack, so this will use one, two, three, four, five, six double A's, so just keep that in mind. We have another metal bracket to build our robot. All of our sensors, look at this, this is cool. Avoidance module, RGB LED module, an ultrasonic sensor, a collision sensor, a barrier avoidance module. This might be uh, for our Bluetooth. So with that said, uh, let's go ahead and queue up that montage and build ourselves a robot. guys check it out so this here is our robot finally completed and it wasn't too difficult to build uh, the only hard part was probably the ending in terms of wiring everything goes but overall it wasn't too complicated I like the fact that the directions were simple and easy to use and the robot really does look nice I like the idea that you can go ahead and expand on it so you can even go ahead and put an arm you can go ahead and build a variety of different things it does have a good amount of ports on the top too all right so let's go ahead and turn on this guy so there's an on off switch here on the side which is indicated right over here so just go ahead and turn this on just like this and it is in a ready stance now so now that we're ready you're going to open open up the app here now in terms of the robot control mode on the bottom here you'll see that there is some lights you can go ahead and change the color of the light by simply moving this dial here and this will give you a good variety or in terms of range of colors to go ahead and match giving it a nice underglow pattern so you just going to move that about just like that and actually it gives it a really cool effect now you can go ahead and control the robot by moving it forward, just like this. Move it back, just like this. Uh, so forward, and then, yeah, you can just drive it around so easily. So it does rotate, just like that. You can rotate the other way. And you can go even move it slowly, too. So it does give you amount of control in terms of speed and rotational aspects. So you can rotate it very little bit or I can go ahead and rotate it a lot, or even more. So that's actually cool. Same with the speed, you can go ahead and move it forward, uh, the combination between the two. And yeah, kind of gives you an idea in terms of what it does in terms of movements. Now, the nice thing about the Mechanum wheels is the fact that you can go ahead and glide with the robot. So if I go ahead and just move it to the right, it'll glide to the right, 
slide to the left. I'm gonna rotate it, move forward, move back, spin it around, and gives you a full function in terms of control goes. This makes it easy in terms of being in tight spaces. So you can go ahead and maneuver the robot any which way you like. How cool is that? All right, so I'm in play mode and I'll click on avoid obstacle um, and I'll hit play. Now this has enabled our avoid obstacle mode. So I go back into drive. Theoretically, the robot should avoid the red block right in front of it due to its sensors, just like that. So I'm not doing that. That's actually happening on its own. So if I, you can see me just, that's <laughs> so cool. Same with the wall. If I go by the wall, let me just see if it goes by the wall. Yeah, it's like forcing me not to go there. There you go. So you'll see that the sensor will turn red on the top. This will indicate that it detects something. Oh, that time it didn't do it. Let's try it again. There you go. So it kind of gives you an idea what that is. You can technically even like program it to do a variety of different tasks, especially with obstacle avoidance. You can go ahead and create its own obstacle course by using that. That is actually really cool. All right, the next thing we do is the line following mode. So the line following mode will allow us to go ahead and follow this line by simply hitting play and we'll hit start and you'll see the robot following the line just like that. How cool is that? So it does it very easily and it actually handles it quite well. So you can go ahead and create your own maps and have the robot follow the line and just do a variety of different tasks based on your liking. So it's actually a great program. Now, besides that, the way it works is it has these sensors on the bottom, which we'll go ahead and pick up on it. So that is actually very cool. All right, another thing that we haven't checked is the gesture control. So this is kind of interesting, just because you don't even need the app to control the robot. Now, the light here on the bottom will indicate which mode it's in. Right now, it's in recognition mode. If you press this button here for the sensor, it'll go ahead and change it. This here is line following mode, and this here is obstacle avoidance mode. So to show you what happens is this here is gesture mode. So if we go ahead and put the robot like this, and if I swipe right, it'll go ahead and follow through on that. Uh, now we'll click on code. This will go ahead and open up our coding app. Now uh, this here is our Kodi basic, so we'll just click on coding, click on plus, and then we'll go ahead and find our Mbot Mega, and then we'll hit the check, and then we're gonna go ahead and pair it by clicking the Bluetooth, hit connect, bring it closer to our robot and we're ready to go. Now we click on back encoding and we have our drag and drop display. So if you click on like motions, uh, you can go ahead and see all the different variations from RGB, sensors, events, control, and operators. So let's just go ahead and create a quick little code. So we're gonna wait one second, event. So when we click the start flag, we're gonna wait a second um, and then we're gonna go ahead and move uh, DC motor port 1A rotates at 50% and then we'll rotate or move all of them 50% and then we're gonna stop all the motors. We can go ahead and change the LED and let's go ahead and hit flag and see what happens. Ta-da! <laughs> so that was literally our code in action, so really easy to use, pretty simple. Uh, I love the drag and drop display, it makes it very easy to use. All right, so another cool thing about programming with the Make Block app is the fact that you can go ahead and switch from the regular block feature to Arduino, which makes it very convenient for Arduino beginners. Now, this can also support Arduino IDE for native programming, and literally is a drag and drop display, which is really convenient. You can also go ahead and extend on the different possibilities playing with Mbot Mega, such as the Crab Fragments, uh, which is actually a great example of what you can do in terms of running up to 10 mortars. So yeah, there you guys have it. So this here is our Mbot Mega. Overall, a great robot and definitely very easy to use. Now, I highly recommend it for anyone who's getting into robotics or someone who wants to learn more about robotics, especially with the coding aspect, similar to all the other Mbot programs. It's actually very nice and very user-friendly. Now, if you guys had any questions, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, thank you for watching and we'll see you guys next time. Take care now. Bye-bye.